Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if you can't access shared folders on your file explorer in Windows 11. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So you want to start off by opening up the search icon down in the Windows taskbar. Type in Windows Features. Best match should come back with turn Windows Features on or off. Go ahead and open that up. You want to expand the SMB section, so SMB 1.0, go ahead and expand that. You want to check mark inside where it says SMB 1.0 slash CIFS client. Check mark inside of there and then select OK. Give it a second, it's going to have to download some files. Okay, so you will need to reboot your computer to finish the requested changes. So go ahead and select Restart Now. Okay, so now that we're back in Windows, go ahead and check and see if your issue has been resolved and you're able to access the shared folders. If you're still having a problem, you can try opening up the search menu and you want to type in control panel. Best result, should come back with control panel. Go ahead and open that up. Select the view by and then select category view. And then you want to select network and internet on the left side. Select where it says network and sharing center. Go ahead and open that up. And now you want to select Change Advanced Sharing Settings on the left side. You want to go where it says underneath Private Network, so expand that. Make sure Turn On Network Discovery is turned on, as well as Turn On Automatic Setup of Network Connected Devices, as well as File and Printer Sharing, so go ahead and turn that on as well. Select Save Changes. Again, you don't have to do that for the guest option unless you wanted to, but again, you want to make sure you're doing it underneath the private setting up here, so you might have to expand the drop down. So once you're done with that, you can go ahead and close out of here. You also want to go and open up the search menu again. Type in services. Best match should come back with services. Go ahead and open that up. You want to locate the function discovery provider host service. Double click on it. You want to make sure startup type is set to automatic and then start the service. Select apply and OK. Now you want to locate the function discovery resource publication service. Double click on that. Set startup type to automatic and then start the service. Select apply and OK. Now you want to go down to the SSDP discovery service. And double click on it. Set startup type to automatic, and then if service status is stopped, you want to start that as well. And then select apply and OK. And now you want to go down to the UPnP device host service. Go ahead and double click on that. Set startup type to automatic, and then service status, you want to go start that. Select apply and OK. So at this point, guys, just close out of here, and you want to restart your computer again.
so there we go guys hopefully at this point you should be able to be good to go and as always thank you for watching this brief tutorial I do advise you to help you out and i do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial goodbye